Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about finance. The topic today that is about compound interest and compound amount. So now I want to show you how to answer. For the question number one, we have the principal. We have the interest rate. We have interest compounded. Now we need to find this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So for the first one, frequency of conversions. We know that semi-annually, that means they appear two times per year. So the frequency of conversions, that is about number two. Now interest rate per period. So the formula of this one, that should be about I equals to R divided by N. So N, that's it about the frequency of conversion. So we know that the interest rate, that is about 8% in nominal rate. Now we need to convert interest rate per period. So we have 8%, we divide by number 2, and this one we have 4%. So we put 4% in here. Now, the next one, total numbers of conversions. So if we want to find this one, we will have about T, that is the number of years we multiply by it and that is about this one frequency of conversion so we have t equal to number 15 we multiply by number 2 and we have 30 now let's go to the next one we need to find compound amount so the formula formula of this one that should be like this we have the principal we multiply by 1 plus r over n we multiply r to the power of t multiplied by n so the principal we have 10000 And all that is about 8%. And that is about number 2. T, that is about 15. We multiply by number 2. So we calculate this one. And we have 32,400. 33.98 and this is the this is about the compound amount so we put this one going here now about compound interest we will use about this one we minus about 10,000 and you will have about 22,433.98 and that's it, the answer for question number one question number two and question number three we will do the same so quarterly that means they appear four times per year So we put number 4 going here, 5%, we just divide by number 4. So this one we calculate and we have one boy 25%. So we put one boy 25% in here. Now on the next one, 
time in years we have six years and three months. So we know that three months we can put into three over twelve. And we put like this. And then we want to find about total numbers of conversions. So we just multiply by number four. That's it from here. So we have 25. So we put number 25 on here. Now we can apply the formula similar for this one in here. And this one, that should be about 3000. Multiply by 1 plus 1.25%. To the power of 25 we calculate this one we have 4092.58 so we put 4092.58 so we use this number in here minus this number in here so we have 1092.58 so that's the answer for question number two question number three we just have only 12 percent monthly and compound amount in here i forget number 10 i will put number 10 years in here so we need to fill the blank so the first thing we have 12 percent monthly monthly that means 12 times per year so we put number 12 on here so 12 percent divided by 12 we have one percent now total numbers of conversions we have 10 multiplied by 12 we have 120 now the question, they just provide compound amount. We can find the principle in here. So, we just use about the formula. Now, we just divide this one. So, amount... We divide by 1 plus R over N to the power of Tn. So amount in this situation, that is about 50,000. We need to divide by 1 plus R over N. One. So R that is about 12 percent over 12 to the power of t we have 10 years we multiply by 12 so we calculate this one and we have 15,149.74 so we put this one going here So 50,000 minus these numbers we have 34,850.26 and this is the final answer. That is the end. Thank you for watching.